Hey YouTube and happy Saturday. Tonight will be a very quick unboxing video of the Casio Algebra FX 2.0 calculator that I got on Mercari for a screaming low deal. I think it was between $13 and $15 including shipping. I also have some AAA batteries here so I can turn it on and do a quick demo before I go through a full review. Let's go ahead and open up this packaging. If I have any trouble, I have the screwdriver that I used to mount my camera onto the tripod. That will come in as a handy tool against this wrapping. It seems I did not need that. Let's get this thing opened up. Okay, there we go. Just rip it open up there. Whatever very simple plastic packaging this is. And let's pull this calculator out here. It's nicely covered in some, what would you call that? Bubble wrap. That's the word for it. And you can see we have our Casio Algebra FX 2.0 uh, calculator right ready to go there with its 2.5 millimeter TTL serial port there on the bottom covered up by a little plug. There we go, let's put the plug back in. It, it's a plug, but I'm just calling it Plug, ploops, poops, I, I called it a ploop. Now this is a very interesting calculator. Why is it so interesting? Well, as far as I know, it has a uh, computer algebra system, a uh, CAS system. And I think what's really exciting, really truly exciting about it is it runs a form of MS-DOS, which means the add-ins are just essentially MS-DOS applications that suit the display. It has you know, a very similar arrangement of, of keys, you know, similar key layout and, and um, function arrangement to what I saw on the FX7400 uh, G2. It does feel like it has a sturdier build quality. I believe it runs on four AAA batteries which are in there and it has also a backup battery. I'll you know do a more thorough video but I think um, this has a um, NEC V25 or V30 processor essentially an 8186 um, compatible. Let me just see if I tilt this here if it you know looks any different. Okay so I'll go ahead and turn it on and indeed, I got this with working batteries. Let's go to the menu. That's, that's kind of a nice resolution, I'd, I'd say there. Let's look at all the options we have. Run math, statistics, graph table. Not sure what Dyna is. Uh, programming, equations, conics, recursion, computer algebra system, algebra, tutor, software link, system and uh, memory. We'll take a look at uh, memory. There's um, about 146 kilobytes free. Let's uh, go back to menu and then uh, system. Let's look at memory use. I guess this is the flash memory. You can see what's used by what's used in the memory by what um, programs. Uh, let's see anything else here. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, so I just looked at that. Go to escape there. And back to the menu. Let's see if there's any programs installed. And yeah, it doesn't look like it. I think there's a, um, what would you call it, a uh, Chip 8 emulator. I'll be talking about that in my next 
a few videos that runs on the Algebra FX, as well as the FX9860 G2, plus the uh, FX CG series. I've also ordered a um, FX CG10 for a similar price. I found you know both of them on Mercari for about ten to fifteen dollars, and I'll do a review on that. Unfortunately, I won't be able to load in add-ins until I build a uh, TTL serial cable with the right levels. I don't think that'll be uh, too difficult to make, and I will have a video about how I make that. It'll just be, you know, a three-wire uh, serial connection between one of those USB TTL dongles and a 2.5-millimeter uh, um, plug. Excuse me, there was a... Um, little dummy rubber plug in the jack that's on here. A plug goes into a jack. Okay, so we'll have that to look forward to. Let me go ahead and turn this off. I didn't even need to take out my batteries. It, it came with some batteries. And put the cover back on. It looks like it's barely even used. Very nice toy to add to my uh, Casio graphing calculator collection. Anyhow, so in future videos, I'll talk about um, Chip8 and then Chip8 emulators for various Casio graphing calculators. I also plan to do that that uh, Casio Pocket Viewer Sync demo probably tomorrow or the day after. So that's you know another upcoming video, and of course more paper computing. Several people have ordered those cardiac computers to become card-carrying members of the paper computer mafia. That will also be coming up in the future. And I still haven't forgotten about the Kenback. I have programs I'm writing for that, for binary to BCD conversion, as well as pseudo-random number generation. On the Kenback, that may not be too difficult because it has a real-time clock and I can use it as a seed for picking a random number. But I'll go through different pseudo-random number generation algorithms uh as as uh, as as well uh, you know nonetheless I'll, I'll I'll go through additional algorithms okay so with that i wrap up this quick unboxing video of my new old casio algebra fx2 calculator that runs on four triple a batteries has flash memory and runs a type of ms dos i believe it's data light ROM DOS. Pairs well with a Husky FS2. Okay, well with that I'll, I'll conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe as always. Thanks for watching and have a great one.